Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad you could tune in today because I have a good video, in my mind at least, that I think you all will enjoy. In light of Star Wars Celebration Orlando just having been here recently this past weekend, I was watching it and I got a lot of inspiration on different video ideas that I could do, gameplays and whatnot, but while I was watching the uh, Mark Hamill show one day, I wanted... I wanted to go back and play all these Star Wars games that I had played throughout my childhood and then it got me thinking, let's make a video on my top 5 Star Wars games that I personally have ever played. I hope maybe some of you guys out there and gals have played these games before and if you haven't, perhaps you'll check them out after we get through with this video. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. The first game on this list is, if you've been around the channel, no surprise. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic number one. We will get to number one, we'll, we will get to number two here in the video in a little bit. But the reason why I have to say Knights of the Old Republic one is my favorite Star Wars game of all time is it, it incorporated so many different elements, RPG, character customization, a really positive atmosphere and dark atmosphere at times within the game. And to me, I had never seen a game like that before, and when I was little I couldn't ever get off Terrace, but the older I got, the better I got at the game, and then I started, you know, I made Let's Plays of it here on my channel, but overall it's a great game. If you want to delve deeper into the expanded universe of Star Wars, this is a great game I would suggest you start at because you see how the Old Republic and the New Republic are so vastly different because there's three to four thousand years worth of time separating that game and episode one so if you're a Star Wars fan I urge you guys to go out there and check this game number two is Lego Star Wars the complete saga and I don't know what you're thinking arm are, are, aren't you like 23 years old and you would be correct but I love Lego games I have quite a few actually on my steams but we're not going to get into those because those are not Star Wars related. But I love the Lego games because they are so funny, wacky. And if you're just having an off day, it's definitely one of those games that I would suggest you go out and you get. Because you will not be having a bad day when you're through. And if you, I, I could have added just Lego Star Wars and then I think they did the original trilogy after that. But the reason why I included the complete saga is... It tells it, it goes one through six, and they're just so wacky. And in uh, the complete saga, it allows you to create your own character, so you can unlock all the characters, get their pieces, make your own custom character. And that was the first Lego game, if I'm right, they allowed you to do such a thing. And at the time, it was amazing. Probably not as much anymore, but at the time, it was the coolest thing you could do. So some of my favorite characters were like General Grievous, and of course Darth Vader and Anakin, Obi Wan, Yoda, Darth Maul. There were there were some of my favorite characters within the game, and then I would play for so much, and then get the ghost characters. So if you're a Star Wars fan and you're having a bad day, maybe you've had an off day at work or somebody just did something to take you off, I would suggest you go out and even if you gotta, you know, crack it, crack download it, I would suggest you guys try Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. Coming in at number three is Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Now this is a, this is an amazing game. It's up there with Knights of the Old Republic. It tells the story of Darth Vader's secret apprentice star killer and it kind of fills in a little bit of time within episodes three and four and uh you 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 get to go on this journey with star killer or Galen Merrick however you want to call him and you get to see how he progresses and how he changes within the actual game so spoiler alert I'm sorry I should have said that before but you get to see all this agility that we don't see in the movies and to me that was astounding because yes we see Darth Vader who has this very terrifying and intimidating presence that he always has but then you see Starkiller and you you start you start to see how he he's, he's seeing how Vader is evil and uh, like conniving and trying to lie to him and you, you get to see this transition from I'm I'm Vader's apprentice to 
maybe I'm actually much more than just the Sith Lord's puppet. And I, 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 can't, I, can't, I can't say anything bad about the game. I mean, you, you see him, like, pull down a Star Destroyer. That in itself just tells you how awesome this game is. And you see a lot of famous Jedi, like Shock T, for example. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for saying and, but it's just, it makes me think that I actually want to go play it. It's an amazing game, so I urge every one of you out there to go and try out Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Coming in at number four is Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And the reason why I included the second one here is not to just fill in another slot, but because this game is just as good as the uh, first one, even though the first one's my favorite. The reason why the second one is on this list is it's a much more darker story. You play as a Jedi who is exiled from the Order, whereas the first one, you're a soldier scoundrel, or, and uh, I forget the other one, Rogue, and then you eventually become a Jedi again. This one, you were a Jedi, now you're exiled from the Order, and the game is about you trying to get back into that Order and destroy the Sith Lords that are plaguing the galaxy. And you get, uh, you get introduced to many good characters, one of which being Treya, or Darth Treya. And she, she's a great teacher, I, I can't lie about that. She was a Sith Lord, and she was betrayed. And she wants to use you to get back at her former apprentices. And then you also meet Darth uh, Sion, if I'm right, I think that's his name, and then... Uh, the other, I forget the other guy's name, but you you get to see how the old Republic, how all these force powers are so amazing that we don't actually get to see in the new movies. And I personally, I, I, I love that. And you just nerd out upon seeing that because you want to see that in the movies. You want to see these powers. You want to see people pull things out of the sky. You want to see people devour planets using nothing but the force. You want to see people keeping themselves alive by pure hate and that's what star wars knights of the old republic one and two will give you so if you're interested in that if any of that interests you please go check out star wars knights of the old republic 2 the sith lords coming in at number five now if you've been on the internet and you're a star wars fan you have probably seen that star wars battlefront 2 is coming out soon and that that will there will be no season pass, but we're not going to talk about the newest one. We're going to go back old school to the original Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, I had this on my original Xbox, and I played the single player campaign a lot. I got really good at it, and then I would invite uh, a friend or two over, maybe some family members, and we just would all sit around playing this game. It was like Call of Duty, but Star Wars, but much better. If you're a Call of Duty fan, I apologize, but this game is so amazing even to this day you can get it on steam and you can even play with your friends of course you have to use a program called evolve excuse me but even today it still can to me in my mind cannot be beat because it, it brought people together and then it it, it it took an fps and made it so much better by introducing star wars into the mix which just amped it up you, you could play different game modes like capture the flag or just basically you just wipe out the other uh, team until you're the last team standing and i've had a few matches back in the day where i was like the last in like the, the last one which very rarely happened i'm not that i wasn't that good but it was such an enjoyable game but my favorite were uh my favorite game mode was heroes and villains where you play one of the two sides heroes and villains of course but my favorite character had to have been on the hero side yoda because yoda has such a fast fighting style that you can just mow down enemies just just mow them straight down my favorite dark side user had to have been darth vader because if you were on the heroes team and you just heard darth vader's sound coming towards you you instantly got chills up and down your spine no matter which character you were playing you were definitely getting those chills so guys that is my list of the best five best star wars games that i have ever played if any of these games interest you i urge you to go out download them buy them and play them you will have a good time i promise you and you can even take that to the bank so if you guys enjoyed this kind of video and you want to see more 
please drop a like on the video and take a few moments out of your day. I want to know which of these games was your favorite or if your favorite didn't make the list, leave a comment down below letting me know exactly which Star Wars game was your favorite. And if you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button. It really helps me out and it lets me know I have more people that I need to work harder for. Thank you guys for watching and remember to stay tuned for the next video.